We brought the operators out here to do the training. Be the professionalism that we are here at Drone Deer Recovery. And really have a passion in helping people and not just taking their money. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy. How's it going folks? Mike with Drone Deer Recovery. Uh, today I wanted to share with you guys the brand that I had envisioned when I started Drone Deer Recovery is really the professionalism and having operators all across the country doing Drone Deer Recovery for you know other people in other states because of how much feedback we got or leads and requests to do this. So really we, uh, me and Kevin here at Drone Deer Recovery started trying to get a business plan together on how can we scale this thing? And in January, we came up with a licensing program and within two months, we had 26 people sign up to be operators. Alrighty folks, we're out here with our uh, first group of operators. We're getting profile pictures and we're, we're starting this thing. We're gonna have operators all across the country. We've done some training. We took a break, do these photos. It's gonna be wild. It's been a great day. It's been so fun. It's like people are actually coming on our brand, we have about 20 oh, yeah. operators and uh, going through training, it's like they all fly the same equipment that we do and we actually get to extend the service that we offer yep. in Ohio. Yep. All across the country. Like yep. 11 states. Yep. It's uh, pretty wild. It's pretty fun. Yeah. We're super excited. The growth is happening really fast, but there's a lot more room to grow and a lot more space for operators. So if you guys are interested, make sure to check out our link. But uh, growth is great and we're only going up from here, literally, with our drones, so. We wanted to personally meet our operators and you know put a face to the name. All these drone uh, recovery operators just showed up and uh, yeah, we're just talking to them and seeing where they're from, how it's going, how they got into it, and yeah, just kind of having a conversation. Crazy to me that um, all because of YouTube or Instagram that this thing is launching. And like I was saying earlier, you know, this, we are pioneering. Unless it's daylight. If it's daylight, the hunter has to use the weapon of that season. And see them hands-on operate their drone. Taking Spin off. up these propellers. I'll we'll show you where, that, where that X is pointing to. It's 360. Take that thing up. We get it all the time. Show them what it is that I've learned, uh, what to do, what not to do. As easy as that, and then you. Uh, this is an HDMI cable. Just plug it into here, or just leave it plugged into here if you want to. You see that H? Mm -hmm. That's always where home is. So if you just put that. So if you're out there and you're recording through the lens and you're like, what the heck, I don't have lights? It's probably because you're recording. We brought them to my farm to do the training. I, I was going back and forth on, should we do it in an office, like a convention center or something like that? And we decided that we're going to do it at the farm where it all began with me flying my drone looking for deer. So uh, we brought the operators out here to do the training. Yeah, this was a this was a tough night. He was looking around when that light hit him. Look immediately where you because That's of how many disturbance. Yeah, how many more deer they would. Uh, and after getting feedback from them, they really appreciated where we're training, how we're training, and what they're gaining. It was fun, exciting. Get a, a glimpse into what drone deer recovery is going to be like in the years to come. It's been awesome. I learned a lot. Um, the technical aspects were great. Helpful. I learned a lot today. So, super excited about that, uh, getting to know our operators. It's very important to us to have the operators uh, represent our brand properly, how I represent it. We have standards. Use good equipment, don't use a little Mavic 3T. You know, they, they come up with this, oh, you can't do this, this is new to fake drone deer recovery operator, you have to report them to us because they're all over already. So really getting to know them uh, and then them getting to know us. Initially, again, saw the, saw the technology, saw what they were using it for, thought it was a great application and uh, went from there. My biggest thing was like how much passion I have here with drone deer recovery is I want everybody that hires one of my operators or one of our operators 
to have the same experience, it would be like hiring me. Often for Mike, quite a few searches I've been out with him where it almost becomes like a personal challenge to him. Like, you're gonna find this deer. And it's, it's, it's not even about the money. It's just like, dang it, I'm gonna go find this deer. Right, like I go into the field. So I, I need my operators or our operators to be basically an extension of my arm and be the professionalism that we are here at Drone Deer Recovery and really have a passion in helping people and not just taking their money. Just seeing the smile on the person's yeah. face and the excitement, it like, yeah. it just, yeah, it, it excites me. There's just this feeling about helping somebody else uh, experience a recovery that might not necessarily be possible without the help of the drone. So yeah. I'm looking forward to sharing that experience yeah. with other people. Getting to know our operators and putting that same passion into the field where they're at is super important to me because if you're just here for the money, we're not gonna take it, you will probably be out the door and we won't see you again. So that, that's really important to me when we are picking operators in areas. We also, we do a meal. Uh, my wife did a lot of the cooking. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoy. Here, I'm but it was cold, wasn't it? Basically, it's we all sit at the same table because we're all the same and getting to know each other more personally, what their goals are, what our goals are, and ha you know, having a meal together, there's something about that sitting down and being at the same table, eating the same food uh, with friends, family, right? It, it's just something about doing it at the table, at the same table with each other. A lot of the feedback that we're getting is just how professional and how open and how family oriented that we are. Great food, great staff, family atmosphere out here. Oh, the professionalism. Absolutely the professionalism of the staff, the whole, I mean, obviously the equipment. Because, right, this, this whole dream, this whole vision uh, came from the Lord. And so we want to recognize that. And our operators are seeing that. And uh, when they see how we, um, hold ourselves up to certain standards and it, even comments, right? When somebody comes up with a, a dumb comment, like put a gun on that thing or this or that, we talk about that at training and they see how we're like, no, we're not doing that at all. I would feel more uncomfortable with the word scouting than I would herd analysis. Yeah, I figured you guys were careful more how you chose to... uh, Even choking around because we can't have that be something that could potentially put us uh, or make us look bad. A lot of the operators, right, are country boys or country girls, and they don't want to go to the city to learn how to fly drones. It might be tech, but that doesn't mean that we have to be, you know, these geeky sitting in an office uh, learning how to do this. Operators can come as themselves. No need to wear a suit or tie because that's not what we are, but uh, there is still a level of professionalism, you know, proper dress and look clean like a country boy or a country girl you want to be, but uh, the, the setting is chill, relax, and uh, in, enjoy the time. Our operators are anywhere from no experience, zero, never flown a drone, to been flying drones for 20 years. And um, when we get that together with operators that have no experience to a lot of experience, we help each other grow, learn faster. And that's another powerful thing we have here at Drone Deer Recovery is the experience levels. All different types of experience levels with flying drones, not flying drones, thermals, no thermals, that type of thing. I think I've got somewhere between 10 and 12 hours. Um, go up 30 minutes at a time, maybe go through two batteries, uh, pushing an hour and just getting what I call toggle time. It's different than the one I'm used to as far as uh, of the smaller one. I had never flown a drone. We uh, at training, if you've never flown a drone, you've never unboxed a drone, we'll help you from, you know, not knowing anything to being pretty comfortable going home, flying your own drone. And we're already doing it, right? There's been two or three guys that never even touched a drone. No, actually up until finding Mike and the drone deer recovery brand, I, I had never flown a drone. No, I have not, first time. And our fly, flying these big Matrice 30Ts 
with um, confidence, uh, knowing nothing to flying the drone on their own. After we get done eating dinner, we usually uh, spend a little bit of time getting the drones out of the boxes, getting them set up, and then going flying around the farm, looking for, you know, deer or just asking questions and shortcuts and all, all types of different things that we're doing hands-on with our operators. So we, uh, we're also creating a lot of media for our operators. We're, we're doing photos, we're doing uh, video and stuff like that for our operators, for our website and maybe their website. But um, really, Drone Deer Recovery is going to be a, hopefully a web show that you guys tune in to to see all these stories unfold because like we've said in the past in other videos, these stories that we are releasing uh, have never been told. So we're going to continue doing that with our operators out in the field uh, with what they encounter. We'll have, you know, stories in the field stories with drone deer recovery operators that you guys can see um, as they unfold because these stories need to be told. They've never been told. So it's, a, it's like almost 9.30 or 10. And uh, training is over. <laughs> Guys came in, went through stuff, had supper, flew the drones. Now uh, made a fireplace and some of the guys uh, left. A few of the others are like, oh, let's hang out around the fire. So wheat pasture. And they were running winter cattle on the wheat pasture. Well, he goes to fix it and there's like 50 feet missing. Then he had it under his jaw and it was tight. So when he would eat and then it would have fell off. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> what a cool night it is. Zoom in on that. Like, but see, he added the second. So if you guys have any interest at all in flying drones or helping people recover carcasses, actually it could even go farther than that. Do you love looking for pets or a lost people or lost cattle? It doesn't matter. If you guys have a passion in helping people, reach out to us, become part of our team. Uh, you'll be able to get that below under the video and you guys can uh, you know sign up to be a drone deer recovery operator. Some of these states have already filled up but uh, there's still a lot of room to grow so if you're in some of these other states that aren't full make sure to reach out to us and uh, we'll get uh, back to you as soon as we can. Again we've been super busy and uh, it might be a little bit till. All right so again thank you so much for the support that you guys have given us here at Drone Deer Recovery. The sky's the limit that's where we're going and we'll see you on the next one.